we don't know if we're going to publish this one or not, but this is going to be a, an experiment with our uh, copper two chloride solutions. And uh, this is the kind of, kind of a proving ground, first article type test. It's going to determine what we put in these bottles and sell on Sleeves Bay. So the three samples are soaking in vinegar right now. I'm going to detox and sanitize the best I can these three vessels. We're going to incinerate this material before they go into the copper two chloride solution or whatever version thereof they will go in. We'll continue to track the progress of the experiment that will take probably three days, I'm guessing. All right, yeah, I got a little crud come off one of those samples, but it looks relatively clean, didn't smoke very much, so. There's our samples in solution of varying uh, concentrations and other for, uh, other batches of solution. Not all the same, so the clock starts now. It is uh, 20, 30 hours, and we'll check on this maybe even in the morning. It's now a matter of uh, just sitting and uh, performing the experiment as I uh, got it written up, and let's see what the results are. Very curious. All right, we've had everything on for about 14 hours. Yeah, about 14. And uh, so far, so good. I'm seeing very uh, minor gold foil separation in this sample. And the rest, not so much. So we're going to let that stuff cook. Continue to add the ingredients as I see fit. My instincts tell me to. And uh, we're only a half a day into a three day experiment. Let's see which one, uh, which copper chloride or copper two chloride solution we're going to put in this bottle to sell at a very cheap price. And hopefully it works. That's why we experiment. You know, we may have to mix it up a little bit, but it's all fun. It's all great fun. Okay, update on the experiment. Maybe, because maybe the dilute blend in the back seems to be the darkest, which is the best. I'm seeing minor go full separation. Yeah, I'll this. I'll this one as well. Nothing on this one. Uh, we're, we're looking at about uh, 15 hours that we've been on the heat. I did secure the heat last night because I just don't trust this thing while I'm sleeping, you know, running. So we'll continue on with the experiment. This might not be a video I publish, more of a scientific study. So, so far the uh, the blend half diluted and I got all the notes here what we're doing. It. All right, well, we'll be back here in about three or four hours to see if there's any big movement because, you know, the... Uh, treatment with the vinegar and sea salt of 13 grams resulted in a lot of gold full separation within 24 hours. So this system that we're trying to develop here may require that then hit with this to finish it off. This might not be the starter to get it going. The something a little bit more aggressive I guess the, uh, the vinegar and sea salt is way more aggressive than the copper chloride, chloride, excuse me. Just a thought, but we may have to do it that way, because we were successful in the original experiment. There's the waste solution, or still good copper, copper two chloride solution. Uh, back there is the uh, golden solution. Uh, it's got a lot of copper in it, but mm -hmm, no worries. We'll lay the SMB to it once we get the, we recover these foals which will likely have a lot of copper in it as well. And uh, we'll just let the SMB to it clean it up. So anyways, we'll be back. Okay, we're into the second 24 hour period. And uh, it's about, I don't know, about nine o'clock in the morning. So we're actually, oh Lord have mercy. We're 36 hours, 36.5 hours in. And uh, I put the uh, blend, the uh, half 
solution into a larger beaker so it had more of a surface area. I did examine one of the foils or one of the pieces of go fill material, just a foil. So with a 36, I haven't examined anything else. Okay, this is a 48 hour. Once the 48 hours ends, it comes off. We'll examine it and see what we got. But so far, when I checked that one, uh, it was definitely, absolutely just a foil. So it had uh, it done its job. You can see the very dark color. That's what we want to see. And it hadn't changed like it did the last time where it kind of went back and forth to this color to that color. It got to that color and stayed. So, very good. I think that's good news. This is, an, uh, this is all new to me, too. So, we'll be back closer to the time that this is, uh, this is due to end. It's 48-hour cycle. And I will examine some foils, hopefully some foils, and uh, hopefully uh, find out which one of the three is the best. That's the goal. Okay, I got this uh, gray substance that formed. I used tap water, it may be silver. Okay, we can test for this. But, okay, let's see here. Do it now. We got some, a little bit of distilled water here. So we get the same reaction. Yeah, we do. Okay. Hmm. That right, dude. I figured that was just the water interacting with the, with the leftover hydrochloric acid in there, but no, it is precipitating some kind of gray stuff out. Who knows? I do not know, but that was <laughs> that was my distilled batch. And you can see the tap water will do the same thing. Uh, a little different. Nah. Maybe a little more. Well, anyways, we live, we learn, we discover, so I don't know what this stuff is, but we got to get it out of there or we'll figure out what it is. Ugh. So, we're going to try these out, weigh them up, see how much we've lost as far as base metals. This uh, experiment is meant to uh, educate myself on how long it will take to use the blended solution there or the four day old solution there I'm leaning backwards and I think this is going to go in like a a two part kit where you use uh, vinegar and sea salt heated for the first 24 hours and then this stuff for the next 24 48 and you've got the the copper's gone and then you put it right in aqua regia but we will have our numbers here uh, later on tonight as far as how much of the base metals we dissolved using our we'll, in our three samples and then we can make a determination after that all right we're done now we're going to sift out the green stuff which is probably solidified uh, copper chloride we don't have a bunch and burner to verify that there's, you can burn it and grow, if it glows green, the flame, then it's positive for copper, for copper chloride. We're going to sift all this out, what I assume to be copper chloride, and then we're going to get a weight. And we're going to see which method or which mixture, the blend half diluted, the full blend, that's the a proprietary blend and a proprietary amount of I guess you could say about a time that it's been in solution with copper and the four day, which is this stuff. Okay, and we're gonna see what's the lightest. Everything started out at 10, 10 grams. So we should definitely see a result. All right. Uh, I think this is gonna be obvious. I'm not gonna spool the surprise. That light is glaring on that. I don't even know if you can see. Eh, whatever, I'll call it out. Okay. First one we're going to do is the four-day solution. The four-day solution. Pour everything in it. Yeah, it looks like 7.2 grams. So, 
It ate up 2.8 grams of base metals, copper, during the 48 hour process. So the four day solution at 7.2 grams. I'm gonna drop the notch on them. There we go. All right, the next, what we'll call full blend, of the proprietary solution that we put together. And that is 7.6, that's surprising. So 7.6 grams. So 7.2, I had a marker in here somewhere. And I always misplace them. Anyways, 7.2, 7.6, which this one is a little shocking. That's a little shocking. I figured that would have been, would have eaten more base metals than the, uh, the four day blend. But I was wrong. Now, for the half, this is obvious. This is going to be the lightest. I can tell what I. Holy crap. 5.5. 5.5 grams. Almost half of the weight has been. I guess you could say eliminated by this. Sorry about the camera work here. Gosh. 5.5 grams. That's amazing. And if you look through the material, like I did when I was. This is all. Now, this is a real thick piece that was a. Uh, that I didn't break down with some kind of a sonic pen or something. But most of this. It's just foils. Okay. Like this is a pretty thick piece here. You know, that's still got a lot of copper in it. That's still got a lot of copper in it. Well, you can do the math as far as the gold weight. Was the process better than the uh, using a, uh, a vinegar and a sea salt solution for 24 hours before and then doing this for 24 hours? This blended concoction here of half water, half of the proprietary blend of copper chloride right here, along with, now this was 48 hours, we left it for 72 hours, no doubt it would have eliminated all the base metals. Well, we want to do this as quickly as possible. So yeah, absolutely, sea salt and vinegar solution for 24 hours, heated, and we needed, the next experiment we're going to do is we're going to put it on a stir plate and keep it going and agitated. I don't know if the copper chloride will be wise to put that in there, but we'll see. So, there you have it, folks. A half blend of the copper chloride for 48 hours eliminated 4.5 grams out of 10 grams of gold-filled material. That is outstanding. So now we're going to work up a process to where 48 hours you recovered, you got it. I think we can get close without using nitric acid. So we'll do the sea salt and vinegar first because it works very well. Finally divided. And we're getting ready to run out of gold filled material. So we need to make this next one count. So the next experiment that we'll start sometime this weekend will be uh, you know, 24 hours of vinegar and sea salt, heated, agitated, oxidized to death, and then uh, 24 hours of this blend here of copper chloride and like before this is our solution the green stuff back there from our first experiment we were able to put it in aqua regia yet it is dirty but we were able to do it so it was a victory and i guarantee you we're not going to have as much copper content once we do it again with this blend here so there it goes to show you dilute acids work better that has to be the reason why this works so good we're talking about 20 percent better than both of these and it's not like a, a radical departure of this from these two. It's really not. So, absolutely awesome. Okay, that's it.